but as y'all just seen, Dually got some type of uh, changes, upgrades and downgrades. But I don't know if we consider a downgrade, because I mean, let's be honest, it looks way better. What I went ahead and did was I took the leveling kit out of the top, so now it's just back down to five inch, all five inch, drives mint, painted the springs, control arms, I added a mini cradle, come over here and check it out. And then what can I do to my dually? So they go, let's put a cradle on it and lift it. I was like, oh, let's put a cradle on it and lower it. So I put a cradle on it and lowered it. But went ahead and drew that up, made it to where it goes around the body line. I think it's about maybe, let's say two feet from there to there. Um, I'm going to start offering these as soon as my website gets launched. Mm -hmm. The website is getting launched on my birthday, May 23rd. And uh, unless I get enough attention, I would say, on this video and on my social medias, which I have been, but I want to launch the website and launch the grand opening of the shop all at once. So I'm kind of like trying to plan it all out to where everything's perfect. I get everything I offer on the website at once. Boom, y'all can place your orders, whatever. We can start getting stuff built here at the shop. You guys can come pick it up. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna offer powder coating on these parts. I don't powder coat, so I would be subbing it out to another powder coater to do the work. Like ship you guys the whole kit ready and done. So here's the credit I put on this truck. And in this video, I am gonna do a, a cradle on T-King's truck. So as you guys know, Tom is one of my buddies from Florida. So he's up here visiting the dually he brought up here. There's some, there's some big news coming for that. But might as well throw a cradle on his truck for him. Uh, build the cross brace for it. Rear traction bars, do the axle brackets on his. Mine already has axle brackets back there. You just can't see them. I'm gonna paint them, but I haven't gotten to the rear yet. All I did was lower the rear down, so I swapped the block out. But I don't know if you guys can see there's axle brackets on the axle. Don't mind it, I gotta clean it up still. So all we care about is that it's rust free. I also went ahead and built the trans cross member for it. And I built a cross brace that bolts in between the cradles. That way it kind of braces off the cradles from flexing in a way. So come down here, check it out. There's a cross brace built it out of inch and a half tubing. Bolts in, trans cross member to the drive shaft when the truck is, I would say, pulled up on the lift, jumped, even though this one hasn't been jumped. Whatever you might do, the stock cross member, when it's sitting there, you got the drive shaft that comes out of the T case. And if you lift it up, the drive shaft will bind up on the T case and potentially bend, mess up your transfer case or whatever. So that's what we have done to the dually. I know I haven't been posting in a while, but I just I just got so much going on. I honestly figure I even do YouTube. But I got videos coming a couple times a week now because I got more stuff filmed besides this. But there's an update on the dually. Let's pull T King's truck in and get it going. So you guys know, obviously, T King's in town, so. Why not just four link his truck? Well, we had it three link. Now it's cradled in traction bars. It's the best part about it all. We, um, three, four, five, six of them. Usually I put like 40 holes for overlays, but, uh, you know, I think seven holes on this little cradle <laughs> was a little too much. So, but if you guys see, well, by the time the video is up, you probably already know who bought the truck, but Thomas no longer owns it. And there's a reason why there's a lot of holes in the cradle because the person who bought it likes to uh, be rough on things. And uh, it's probably not who you guys are thinking of because um, there's more than one people that hurt people. No, people. There's, one, there's more than one person that destroys things. So, you guys know. Obviously, cradles have two sides to them. So let's slide this one up the side here. Little lob tap. Little lob tap to the paint, you know. All right, let's take a... Funny story, not to get off topic, but I was going to pull this thing down one day. I was like, oh! Anyways, this door isn't like... Oh, don't snap the box truck. This door isn't like, I would say, uh, I mean, it, it's fully up. Operable, op operatable, no, op operable. It is fully, it's fully working. <laughs> I can't talk. Anyways, I was, it was getting stuck one day while I was trying to pull it, pull it, pull it. Boom! Busted my ass. But that's besides the point. I don't even know why I threw that inside. There. Yeah. 
I wake up, I go ball, I go hard with my dogs, spend it all, what's the call? Need a tan, never fall, polo socks, polo jaws, keep it tan, beat the eyes, in my line, what you want, I pick up, yeah, yeah. Uh, love when the celly go ring, I'm putting on my team, money come flow, no sink, spring, 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 double cup, cup, match, freaking going inside, it's freaking raining, basically, this video is a lot of cradles. Well, just two, so not a lot. Thomas is done. Still got to do traction bars, obviously. I don't have tubing here at the shop. But what do y'all think about his dually? Everyone seems to love it. You guys like it? I do. I know I will never, ever build a single cab daily driver again. Not happening. Let's take a walk over here by the big truck. You guys probably seen inside the video in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it in the background, but. My big truck's on the trailer. You guys know this thing has been around for a while now. I'll sign it. Sign, sign, sign my own truck. Or, I'll huck me sign my own truck. Right here would be good. Right here? Oh, right there. Brandon 24V. That, that's too simple. How can we start my signature? V. I don't, I don't know. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to start, I don't know how to make my signature because I just, for the rain. How can I make my signature? My signature now, like normally just done. But freaking mark would be wet. You know. I can't I can't draw forms, I'm stupid. The money's that the old gray truck is back there still. Being the beater that it's been. But we set this on the trailer because we gotta do cradles. And cradles are more important than cradles, axle trusses, and big trucks. Sign this frame too. Okay, so before I put the next clip in, you guys seen the thumbnail. I want you guys all to know that nothing was like no alcohol, nothing, none of that was involved. So I took, as you guys seen in the beginning of my video, I had the big truck, all the wood, a bunch of stuff loaded on the trailer boggers. I was taking that somewhere else, I'm getting my parking lot redone. So I'm coming back home with the trailer, back to the shop, I should say, with the trailer to get more stuff. And we're all on the road, everyone's going, everyone's going. One guy decides to slam on his brakes last minute. Another guy slammed on the brakes last minute. I, if I didn't have the trailer, I would have been able to stop in a timely manner. Being that I had the trailer, my controller wasn't hooked up for the brakes at the time because you guys know me, I don't, I don't believe in brakes, but today I had to. So I was like, oh God, I freaked out. The truck would have stopped without the trailer, but it didn't because the trailer was on there. So I was like, well, I'm either hitting this car and pushing that car into the other car, smashing my front end or bombing it into the ditch. So nothing is broken on the truck. That's not why I put the cradle on it. Um, I just got the wheels scratched up a little bit. But Thomas is here. We're going to get those painted. What color should I paint the wheels? What do you guys think? I'm thinking something bright. What, hot pink, orange, yellow, green? But let's get into this next clip, show you guys what happened with the truck, and go from there. Well, that didn't last too long. Fucking swamped it. Yeah, that's not good. How the fuck are we gonna get out of this? Okay, that's fucked up. So I slid off the road and there was literally just a fucking three car accident right here. I guess now that we're freaking stuck. Three more cars just got into an accident down there. Eat my freaking girlfriend's Starburst though. That should work. Everyone's probably looking at me like, damn, he's just sitting on some freaking boggers. Don't know what happened. Literally. I don't get it. Them three just smashed into each other. Can't tell me my fucking trailer was on the road because it's, it's not. I The white line, my trailer's right there on the white line, so. Oh boy. Copped with her now. This thing is swamped though. Tow truck.
fucking swapped it. Right out though. My boy stands. They always got it freaking dialed. They were cool about it. I, I chose it. I chose a ditch over a car so everyone's family's safe and my wheels are fucked, but we can live with the wheels being fucked. Oh yeah, we're already out. Now I'm waiting for the bed to get caked to the fucking trailer to pop off the fucking ball. Oh yeah, she's fucking caked. We're out though. Damn, I was sat there for a fucking hour. Maybe even two hours. Damn, I got to watch the sunset and all, boys. Um. Yeah. About that. About that. Thomas said it was nice enough to go across the country to get painted. And then back home to be even nicer. To sell it to somebody who puts American Force wheels on backwards. Doesn't care to align their truck. Doesn't care to smash it up. And yeah. She is smoked. Smoked like a freaking uh like a freaking cigarette. Jesus Christ, look at the door. This window has been open for freaking years, it feels like. Feels like looks like everything. Where's Doe Baby at? What about it? It's my new beater. I'm driving it this winter. Just like this. Yeah, but you'd fix it. And huh? it'd be, if, you, if you bought it, you'd fix it. It'd it be nice fixed. again. There's stock suspension back in the front, lift in the back. Um, it's got the truck pull stance. Truck stuff. pull. Reverse, Reverse lean. I don't like sport front ends because they're for poor people. So. Maybe on the wall of... Wall of clout, we'll call it. The clout grill. What is this? Why does it have Thomas' signature on it? The wrap off Gabe's fifth gen. Yeah. So, today's video is sponsored by A to B. Let me get into it. A to B offers competitive prices across all gas and diesel pumps, not just select stations. A to B can also be used for select purchases such as tolls, auto parts, anything you really want to use it for. Here's my card. Best of all, there's no monthly fee. So if you're a business owner, you have a lot of fleet trucks, and you need a card for all of your guys to use, say that you got a lawn care company. Well, you need to be able to give your guy a card. Obviously, you don't want to give him your business card that's got obviously what? $10 million on it? I'm not going to give one of my employees my card. Be like, hey, here's my card. There's $40 million on it. Just only get gas. So you give him this card from A to B, and quite honestly, I love this card because I can send my guys off with it to the auto parts store to go get whatever, whether it's food and all around A to B would be your one stop, one stop shop, one stop, one stop card. That's what we're going to say. One stop card for all your purchases. So click the link here or below this video in the description to get yours now.